This is the Red Book for Sheringham Park, which Humphrey Repton presented to Abbot Upchurch in 1812. It is written in Repton's own hand. The book begins with a letter to Upchurch, in which Repton expresses the joy that the commission has given him, writing, This may be considered my most favourite work. Sheringham possesses more natural beauty than any place I have ever seen and is more capable of being rendered an appropriate, gentleman-like residence. Repton considers the existing woodland at Sheringham as having a beautiful effect, but recommends that Upshire carry out some further planting to add colour, depth and variety, and also because all planters delight most in woods of their own creating. Repton advises Upture against choosing to have a sea view from the house, as the sea at Sheringham is not like that of the Bay of Naples, or even the southern coast of England. He indicates his proposals for the new house and garden, and the approach road, on a sketch map. Marks in pencil, probably by Upture, are further changes to the roads, and a walled garden. Repton's panoramic sketch of the view from the house includes a cornfield and a group of visitors near the proposed temple. The only major intervention Repton suggests is to cut boldly into the narrow ridge of hill in the line of the approach to form one of the most striking stations from whence the house will burst at once on the site like one enchanted palace of a fairy tale. The final part of the Red Book is devoted to the new house. Repton includes these unusual section plans in which the family is depicted at work and play. Upture walks his dogs. A driver prepares a carriage for a journey to the village. And Charlotte plays the piano. Repton signs off with the following words. I must conclude by fervently wishing the proprietor of Sheringham and his family long enjoyment of all its beauties and comforts, and if it shall hereafter be remembered that I had any share in contributing to call them forth, my professional duties will never have been more satisfactorily exerted.